Hello all, uh, welcome back to Free Engineering School. Uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, Abacus warnings and errors uh, with uh, some sort of solutions uh, which we use uh, on daily basis. So let's get started. So as I discussed in the previous video, uh, mainly there are uh, three portions in analysis. Uh, basically we'll do uh, pre-processing like uh, uh, meshing the model, providing boundary conditions, selection of element type and then material properties and uh, applying loading conditions. Post that we will uh, run the simulations. So during uh, running the simulations, uh, if everything is go smooth, the run will converge. If not, uh, there are some sort of uh, problems will occur. We need to identify that problems and then we need to pre uh, process, go to pre-process and then uh, I have to correct it and launch it. So this is the just example of uh, Abacus summary which will get it in a message file. So you need to see uh, these three parameters uh, like uh, what is the warning messages we encountered uh, uh, during the run uh, like uh, numerical problems, Egan values and if any errors are exist. So we will discuss one by one uh, how we can uh, overcome these warnings and errors if they are exist in your model. Uh, here I uh, have listed around 7 to 8 warnings and uh, errors which uh, Abacus will produce or give uh, during our structural simulations. Most probably every engineer will uh, get these many errors during their uh, analysis uh, running time. Uh, we'll study one by one and what is the possible uh, solutions for that also. Uh, first one is a zero pivot when processing node uh, 1034 with degree of freedom 1. This uh, zero pivot is mainly res uh, respect with uh, over constraints. Uh, over constraints is nothing but uh, the several constraints are applied for the same node. For the same node if you apply a load and as well as the constraints so it will give uh, over constraints. So we need to avoid uh, this kind of uh, uh, warnings in the our deck. And uh, this warning may come during uh, analysis calculation due to change in uh, contact from open to close or close to open. This may also lead to improper stress and displacement. So sometimes uh, the run may complete, but uh, this error if adjust means we need to take care uh, severe action we need to check uh, twice and thrice to understand the uh, the results in the second one uh, the numerical singularity when processing node 276 so with respect to degree of freedom 3 so first one is with the over constraint and second one is with the under constraint if you did not give proper boundary conditions suppose uh, if you are uh, applying a load here and uh, here if you did not give any constraints the body will be moving from displaced from here to here uh, so you will you'll call it as a rigid body motion so we need to take care of uh, boundary conditions the result may not be accurate even uh, run completed suppose uh, sometimes if you constrain when only one node and uh, if you apply a load here the possibly Run may complete, but uh, results may be vary with respect to this kind of warnings. Uh, These warnings are uh, taken care uh, with respect to the singularity. So as I mentioned here, the result will have a more impact on the assembly models if it is exist in a uh, message file. So we need to take care uh, uh, the, the, the most uh, important thing, uh, numerical singularity as well as the zero pivot. The third warning is uh, the system matrix has uh, five negative Egan values. This Egan val negative Egan values is mainly respect to geometric instability and material instability. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, it will uh, give a language multiplier. If you use a uh, language and multipliers also, it will have uh, some impact. So majorly uh, geometric and material instability. Uh, geometric instability. Uh, this is caused due to a buckling effect or a very large compressive load if it is happening um, it will give uh, this kind of errors and in the material instability mainly due to uh, improper uh, material nonlinearity values like uh, if you did not mention properly the yield and ultimate stresses 
usually the uh, under uh, star plastic uh, material properties we need to enter plus uh, first firstly as a yield as a 250 mpa for example and then it is go for ultimate it will be a 500 mpa suppose if we interchange first you enter 500 mpa with respect to percentage change in elongation then if you enter yield so uh, it is a uh, instability will change so we need to interchange uh, uh, the values will give uh, improper material instability so we need to take care of this well in numerically the use of lagrangian multipliers in certain cases may also lead uh, this kind of uh, negative values so we need to avoid that as, as well and the uh, fourth one is the element is uh, distorting uh, so much uh, that it turns into inside out so this is mainly uh, because of uh, element distortion so this may cause uh, due to uh, insufficient mesh refinement uh, while uh, applying the load or uh, in the contact regions we need to take care of the fine mesh uh, so that the load transformation will happen uh, properly uh, if it is a coarse mesh again there will be a uh, problems of distortion of elements so that need to be taken care uh, with respect to the distortion and uh, inconsistent units for material properties are loads even uh, if you apply uh, loads the improper uh, inconsistent units suppose if you apply uh, material property in mp and then if you apply load in uh, lbs uh, so it will not be a uh, uh, consistency in a unit system so that may also give uh, error for this and even excessive or unrealistic loads also give the element distortion suppose uh, the component is only capable of in the, even in the physical behavior also it is capable of taking 100 kN if you apply more than 1000 kN it will be unrealistic and uh, it is huge impact or it is a huge uh, huge load for the particular assembly component so it will be distor it will set the distortion so that kind of uh, situation also we need to avoid in this uh, element distortion warning so in the fifth warning uh, this is uh, obviously everyone should get at the initial uh, uh, running of the simulation uh, usually for uh, structural simulations the strain increment has exceeded the 50 times the strain to cause the first yield this is mainly uh, because of the plastic yielding in the given increment or uh, unrealistic or excessive loading conditions or uh, uh, with the respect to the material uh, stress strain data also if you insufficient or incorrectly enter the material properties so the stress strain uh, data that may lead to this kind of warnings so as i mentioned in there uh, in the if the initial step increment is more then it will start to yield so we need to uh, give a very small increment for uh, initial uh, step in Uh, loading conditions should also obey the physical behavior of the problem suppose uh, as i discussed uh, in the previous uh, warning the assembly is having a uh, capable of 100 kN if you apply uh, 1000 kN or more than that uh, it will be excessive or unrealistic loading for that particular uh, problem and even uh, insufficient or incorrect plastic uh, material data will also lead to this kind of error Uh, sometimes uh, even bad mesh uh, suppose if you have a coarse mesh for the assembly and uh, the buckling effect also uh, may produce this kind of warning so in the sixth one uh, time increment required is less than the minimum face pad analysis which is uh, going to end uh, in this uh, model should withstand uh, applied load or uh, we need to Uh, reduce the initial increment to avoid this kind of uh, error warning messages so sometimes we need to check the deck model uh, like contacts and boundary conditions whether they are pro applied properly or not we have mentioned uh, contact properties uh, are regular uh, contact properties are uh, in a good condition or not need to be uh, checked so as i mentioned here realistic boundary condition load condition should be considered and uh, initial increments will be uh, small enough to run the analysis smoothly and uh, we need to make sure the contacts and boundary conditions uh, quality should be maintained so for seventh one uh, too many attempts made for this increment so analysis is terminated so for this kind of errors we need to verify the warning messages 
and uh, no need to go for modification in solver control unless it is very important first we need to check the model deck uh, need to uh, take a final decision as i discussed uh, when you observe this kind of error uh, better look into warnings uh, to ease the convergence so based on the warnings only this kind of errors may uh, observe in the message file so first we need to go for warnings and if there are warnings first we need to rectify that warnings and then rerun the model instead of going for directly the error messages and uh, make sure uh, the material properties assignment and the contact pairs with uh, friction application should be uh, correct and even uh, we no need to change the solvers unless it is uh, important because the abacus will choose their uh, own solver by default with respect to the analysis conditions so better we need to keep the keep the default uh, default sorry uh, we need to keep the default uh, settings for uh, running the simulations and the eighth one and last one is the too many increments uh, needed to complete this uh, analysis step so for this error we need to verify as i said uh, we need to verify with respect to warning messages and sometimes we need to try to uh, increase the number of increments as well so for this particular error uh, you need to go for uh, message file and then check the is there any warning messages such as um, numerical singularity or zero period warnings that may causing this uh, uh, convergence uh, slow convergence and even if there appear to be non convergence issues then you need to go for uh, increasing the limit of the limit to the number of increments uh, for this step uh, step to avoid this this kind of errors so that's all about uh, today's discussion on uh, abacus errors and warnings with uh, proper solutions so hope this uh, video has uh, given me given you all uh, wonderful experience on how to rectify the errors and warnings uh, which you encountered uh, during your analysis so please uh, feel free to write your comments uh, to discuss in further try to subscribe uh, free engineering school for uh, regular updates so possibly we'll discuss uh, in the next videos uh, on uh, dynamic studies thank you and uh, have a good day bye for now